Hey guys, in this video we are going to add this digital clock in our system. So first thing we need to do is create the script.js file and then here we're going to integrate that file so using the script tag. Let's refresh as you can see it returns our show.alert message. So here uh, first thing we need to do is I'm going to discuss the object so it's going to be a date object and this object holds all the date information so if you are going to log the date as you can see here it returns us a string so inside that object we can use the following functions to, we can pull the data so here as you can see here these are the different functions we can use to create our digital clock so first is the gate foliar so i'll just call that function as you can see it returns the current day year so we have the get month it will return or return 0 to 11 for the date this will return the current day or the current date then here the get day this will return the numbers of the week so we also have here uh, minutes so if we refresh we we'll return us the current minute let's try the seconds so as you can see it shows us the current seconds then here for the get hours it will return us the 24 hour format so let's remove this and then here um let's create variables to store each of those uh, fields are part of our digital clock so yeah, to get the year so before that we're going to create this function show clock function and inside this is where we pull the current date and time so here this will be the year then here this will be the current month so of course that is a number we'll just add the e script later to show the correct month so we have also the date cow we have the hour to get the hours method then here let's start the minute and then the seconds so we should have that format should return this format so this function should should return that format so here if we log the month num so this will return the number so what we are going to do is create a script to convert it to a string so january february so here if let's call our show clock function so here let's create a list of array for months so from January to December then here since the month that now will return the number we can just use months and month now so it should give us the current month or the month converted to string so next we need to do is here let's just correct this one let's 
the date count so there's no nothing to do with that it's all good so the year also let's just add the gamma then the next thing is the R then here we should have the minute and then the second so if we refresh so here we need to also have the EMR PM so for now let's hardcore the EM um, so in our hour we need to convert this one to 12 hour format instead of the 24 hour so as you can see the get r starts to 0 to 23 so we'll need to create a function that will convert that 24 hour to 12 hour format so here i'm going to create this function and have the parameter of time so here i'm just going to check um if time is greater than 12 so that means it's now pm so we can write here set the time so let's just get the difference uh, that will give us the correct time in 24 hour format so for now let's just make a test so i'm just set the time to 23 so this is 11 pm so the time value or variable should return 11 pm or 11 so here let's just call that function as you can see it's showing 11 so here let's try 0 it's correct 0 0 if it's 24 which is 12 so here going to do is we need to store also the EM and PM so default let's use EM and then here let's add a curly brace so this will be the correct the time um, and then here the EM variable will set it to PM so here let's return the time and then concatenate so I guess uh, it's better if we'll return an object so We'll have the time store that and then the EMPM store the EMPM variables. So let's remove this one. Let's add the let keyword. So here let's try to console the lag DR. So as you can see here we have an error, so let's remove the let since we already have that variable. Then here so it's correct currently it's 1.23 a.m. so here you can just use time uh, let's create a variable called time formatted and then here um, let's call that function and then pass the hour so if we refresh going to replace time formatted select the time key then here plus time formatted select the EMPM so if we refresh June 5th 1 29 20 EM so if I'm going to remove this one refresh as you can see show us the current time and the seconds date so here this is where we're going to add our time and date so now I'm going to add the render function so we'll show the or reflect the 
time to your element so here let's add the query selector the time and date so that's the name of the class from our uh, so let's just copy that one so we don't need to write all over again so the query selector this is where we have set the the element or the time value so let's just set the inner html to that value so as you can see if i'm going to refresh show us the current time so now we don't want that to refresh all over again to see or show the time so what i'm going to do here is so inside our function we're going to use the set interval function and then here let's copy paste the show clock and then the interval so it will run every 1000 milliseconds so that's one second so as you can see here our time is always updated so we don't need to worry about refreshing the page every time we need to see the clock so this looks good now we're going to make our time bigger so let's go to our style.css and then here as you can see this looks good now so that's it guys um, see you on our next video